check out today's piece of fan art. We've got Abigail Williams in absolute paradise, clinging to a tower of delicious pancakes. I love how it integrates Abby into an actual photograph. The butter on her cheek and sleeve really sell the look. Thank you so much, Mari Anchovy. Welcome back to Otaku Daikun. Daichan here. Let's face it, Fate Grand Order is loaded with all sorts of ridiculous servants, from an adorable female Paul Bunyan to mechanized versions of Elizabeth Bathory. It's no wonder, then, that the game also features a plethora of abstract noble phantasms that don't really fit what we consider a conventional attack. To fully appreciate these bizarre animations, Adichan and I have compiled a list of our picks for the top 10 silliest noble phantasms. Mind you, the noble phantasms themselves have to be silly, not just the servant using them. As such, some attacks, like Paul Bunyan's, aren't actually that silly. Bunyan herself is, but the act of stomping on her enemies is perfectly reasonable, considering she's a giant. More importantly, though, the animations in this list just make us laugh every time we see them. Now, before we start off, I want to introduce an honorable mention that doesn't officially count towards the list due to a technicality. Artoria Lily has received an animation update that makes her noble phantasm a lot cooler, and perhaps regrettably, less hilarious. Thus, I want to honor Lily's old animation, in which she uses Caliburn to fire a beam of light straight into her enemy's crotch. It may be silly, but I assure you it's super effective, conceptually anyway. Obviously, she's not the strongest gameplay-wise. Her newer animation no longer strikes in the same area, which I admit is a bit sad. The rest of the noble phantasms on this list aren't in any specific order. They're all funny in their own ways. Starting with our number one pick, we've got Tamamo Cat's Opulence of Sunlight and Catnap, otherwise called Napping in the Dazzling Sunshine and Feasting. Basically, she pounces on her enemies, ripping them apart, before falling fast asleep. Apparently, it's based on Shuchi Nikurin, a torture game where victims are thrown into a tiger's territory. Let's be real, though, she's not actually that scary. Next up is Super Orion's Artemis Hagnos, Moon Goddess's Innocent Affections. To be fair, this is on the list because said affections aren't as innocent as they seem. <laughs> sure, Orion and Artemis are in love, but that hasn't stopped Orion from being a total womanizer. Because Artemis is possessive, you'll occasionally wind up with an animation in which, as she embraces him, she more or less strangles him. Whether it's painful or wholesome, however, the buffs are still the same. After that, we have Ruler Martha's Tarask, oh tragic Drake who runs wild. Normally, St. Martha's noble phantasm involves sending her armored dragon Tarask flying at her enemies as a spitting projectile. The same is true here, but in the summertime, she takes things to ridiculous new heights by propelling her dragon even more through a flurry of punches. Depending on your perspective, it's either hilarious or sad. I find it funny how punching a giant turtle is supposed to help increase the output. Santa is meant to fly with the help of reindeer, but because Altera the Santa didn't get the memo, she's next on our list. Yes, get it so. It's me. Her 
returnable phantasm, Candy Star Photon Ray, is fundamentally the same as her normal one, with the Sword of Mars unleashing a colorful assault on her enemies. Except in this form, all of her various lights are led by adorable little photon rams, performing the Great Itano Circus. Bah! The fact that they explode makes it all the funnier. Lore-wise, this next one is sound, but that never gave it the right to be so silly. The Queen of Sheba's noble phantasm, Three Enigmas, is themed around how she visited the wise King Solomon with three riddles that he easily solved. To make this into an attack, the queen manifests three jinn, adorably adorned with boxing gloves, clobbering the crap out of unsuspecting foes in a team combo. Cute little critters laying the beat down certainly isn't what I expected to see here, but I definitely enjoy it. Ishtar's primary weapon is her boat of heaven, Mana, an interstellar gate that launches the heaven's light like a bow. In the summertime, however, she transforms her flying machine into a fashionable scooter, touring resorts across the globe as part of her noble phantasm, Angata Seven Colors, Ecker Traversing Rainbow of Venus. Basically, she goes on a vacation and takes all her happiness and drops it on her enemies as a rain of dazzling stars. I guess the enemies need to sit tight while she warps across the planet every time she uses this attack. <laughs> Nothing screams confidence more than kicking your opponent's ass and posting it to Instagram with style. Queen Maeve does just that in her summer form's noble phantasm, One Shot, My Love, My Dear Summer Tryst. Maeve is known for her irresistible charm, which can render even her greatest foes complacent as she knees them in the crotch, bashes them with her butt, and poses poolside while they explode in the distance. It's a rather embarrassing way to go, isn't it? Ever wanted to see Santa go postal? That's basically what you get when using Santa Nightingale's noble phantasm. Assault medicine, full burst party, angel cries, demon disappears in the shadows. A spoonful of sugar might make the medicine go down, but this Mary Poppins knockoff isn't so patient. Her bullets may qualify as syringes from an angel, but all I see is a one-sided bloodbath. As if amputations weren't enough, she weaponizes medicine on a whole new level. Imagine you're a monster or demonic beast, and you suddenly get attacked by a guitar-wielding pop idol. Your surroundings turn into a crowded auditorium, and a beaming spotlight illuminates you in front of the audience. What else is there to do but play along and dance a little? <laughs> Mysterious Idol X Alter puts her enemies through this in her noble phantasm, Lumino Caliber, Luminous Fantasian Sword of the Hegemonic Road. Little do these enemies know that her vibrant songs are actually fueled by the devil of music, allowing her to strike down her enemies in a surge of light. Honestly, their dancing is just so cute. Last up, we've got Summer Osaka Behime's noble phantasm, Hakuro Castle, Thousand Forms Milli Milli Night Fever. <laughs> I 
Ironically, despite being known as a hikikomori, this Japanese yokai princess doesn't seem to mind getting out of her castle if it's to play some survival games. That said, she doesn't have any backup, unless she makes them herself anyway. To fight an army, she brings her own, a force made up of origami soldiers. This sounds kinda cool in concept, but the absurdity is what lands it on this list. She calls it her million military, but in truth she's only made a thousand. Furthermore, they aren't your typical soldiers, instead consisting of adorable mice, chickens, hermit crabs, and other paper critters that join her in rushing the enemy camp. Not only are paper guns and planes hard to take seriously, but seeing a charging force of tiny animals ready for war is just too much. I love it! So there you have it, 10 of the most insanely silly noble phantasms featured in Fate Grand Order. Of course there are more, but that's exactly why we have a comment section. I want to know what you guys think are the silliest attacks in the game, or perhaps the silliest abilities throughout the Nasuverse. Do you agree with this list? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below! Before I go ahead and roll the credits, I want to give a special shout out to my $10 supporters. VideoGamer75, Steven Elak, Otaku Mom, Jens Ballman, Mystic Samurai1983, Freebrick, RNG or Shuffles1498, Crod, Alexis Yukio Gomez Yamato, Nigel, Happy, Sakura chan, Caitlin P, and SF Giants fan Mike. Thank you all so much. Thanks for watching! If you enjoy this channel, help us grow by liking, commenting, sharing the video, subscribing to Otaku Daikun, and most of all, smashing that notification bell so you don't miss out on all of our anime discussion, lore, or let's play content. You can support us directly through Patreon, Subscribestar, or our YouTube membership, all of which come with benefits like exclusive vids and early access. As always, celebrate, celebrate your, your fandom! fandom.